going on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here and welcome to another installation of fix up city with this one being hollywood hogan themed uh generally with fix up city if you guys are new to this installation here on my channel we take a few different wwe mattel figures we uh part swap them kind of give you some ideas and walkthroughs uh this time we're gonna do it a little different these are actually finished fix ups of what we uh had put together i had to send a few of these out to get torso swap because i cannot uh, do that myself here in-house so I want to send a huge thank you to Mania Figs on Instagram and Steinsenberg Customs. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right, dude. Uh, I appreciate both those guys. They're great uh, friends of mine, uh, and they really do help me out with these beautiful torso swaps, and we will give a shout-out to each for the, the, the work that they did complete for me here. Uh, but like I said, we're going to walk through each figure and give you an idea of what we did and uh, how they turned out. So our first fix up here, we do kind of have a Hogan based on like a motorcycle theme, uh, you know, something a little different. I had some extra parts. I wanted to do something interesting. I actually did pick up this uh, entrance jacket or leather jacket is from the new Ultimate Edition uh, Monday Night Wars Roddy Piper. Uh, I was able to pick this up from a Facebook group. Someone had it at a good price. I said, hey, I can make a Hollywood out of that. I would love to see the uh, No Way Out return or not even then, you know, kind of that era when he came back at No Way Out with WWE. Uh, down the road he did wear that leather jacket not quite at that uh pay-per-view uh but you remember he had that white hollywood kind of design on the back so that's kind of what this is somewhat mimicking but you know i know he did wear a leather jacket a lot of times backstage so I had a few different parts from the Monday Night Wars Elite figure, uh, which I actually did use to torso swap here, and we'll get to that fix-up in a little bit. But this is a very simple fix-up. This is the ultimate greatest hits Hollywood, and this is why I purchased so many. I know sometimes people give me a hard time and ask, what the hell are you doing with so many figures that must cost you a fortune? I'll be honest, I buy these to do these fun fix-ups. Sometimes I'll sell the leftover parts or whatever's left over to, to recoup some fun. So uh, it's not a total loss, but it's just fun to customize this stuff. This is what the hobby's all about. So this uh, t-shirt underneath is the black sleeveless shirt that came with that Monday Night Wars Hollywood. So is the bandana and the glasses. The jacket here itself is the Monday Night Wars uh, Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper. And the rest of it is just your standard Greatest Hits Hollywood Hogan. I'm not sure if I'm going to remove the boots, uh, the, like the logos, or maybe swap the boots out. But for now, I'm keeping them in the Hollywood gear. Just something, uh, you know, fun to do. I may throw them on a motorcycle or something just to kind of have them uh, display like that. But uh, a fun little fix up here. Here's another fix up using the Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Hollywood Hogan. So we have kind of a wolf pack, like, like mashup. Uh, this did not involve any actual part swapping for the most part. This was just accessories. So you can see this is the Greatest Hits Hollywood. I did swap out the boots from the wolf pack uh, Hollywood Hogan. I did purchase a few of those. And like I said, I saved them reserved to do fun stuff like this. Or I actually had uh, some extra parts from regular Hollywoods. I converted those back and actually flipped a bunch on the secondary market just to make a little money back. Back, believe me i took a loss on them but uh, i was able to to take off these boots off of another fix up i did which is pretty much the same fix up except it had the uh the regular non-tan skin tone of the uh, ultimate edition series 7 uh so what i did was i swapped out the accessories you can see this uh wolf pack title here uh is from the uh ringside club exclusive i did throw on the t-shirt from that figure uh, this weight belt is actually a Jax weight belt from the classic superstars Hollywood Hogan figure. Um, the bandana, again, from the ringside figure. Same with the glasses. The head is the screaming head from uh, the uh, Ultimate Greatest Hits. And you have a pretty cool, like, kind of mix-up. There were no real parts swapped other than the boots. The gloves I did use from the... Um, Target three packs. So if you guys do have any extra hands, maybe the wolf pack hands that you're not using for your figure for display or just the gloved hands, uh, the skin tone match is pretty good here. Uh, and you get uh, kind of a different version of the Hollywood wolf pack Hogan. This Wolfpack Hollywood actually was a little more involved. This is one where Steinsenberg Customs on Instagram was able to help me out with a torso swap. So essentially, I wanted a tanner, uh, more plus up version of the ringside collectibles Hollywood Hogan. I uh, remember the ringside version came with those big shoulder joints. He couldn't articulate it on that skinny torso. Uh, he didn't, he wasn't tan. So the parts for this one are pretty much the Hollywood Hogan, uh, ringside collectibles elite figure. I did use the torso from this uh, three-pack Hulk Steel Rules figure. One thing I wanted to point out, my plan was to originally use one of the ultimate greatest hits Hollywood Hogan heads. Uh, this is the parts I sent to get swapped, and I totally missed out and forgot that this figure, if you can see, does have a longer neck peg than the uh, NWO Starcade Hollywood Hogan. So these heads, actually, those ultimate heads will not fit on this body. They're going to give you that giraffe neck syndrome, and it's pretty bad. 
So I goofed there. I didn't realize it. I did have some extra uh, Starkid Hollywoods I could have sent. Uh, so by default, I have to use this head because I don't have another head that fits on there. But you know, the smiling skin works. I'm not, you know, too upset about it. Um, if you guys want to see a comparison of the original version, so I do have a standard, just regular. Um, this is, I'm kind of OCD. I want one of every Hogan released by Mattel on display. So even though I, I plus them up and he looks better, we're going to actually remove all the accessories to compare. Uh, you can see the new version versus how the original looked. And I'm pretty sure, especially like the Vault series coming out, we're probably going to see this figure re-released by ringside um, in the Vault series, maybe Series 3 or whatever down the road. We just saw Series 2 not too long ago. Uh, and I think they're going to redo all these skinny torso, non-tan Hogan's and give us this version here. But why wait? I have the extra parts. So uh, the original versus the new one, which one do you like better as far as the size? But we will remove the accessories so you can see how different the torsos look on here. Man, just look at that. Look how much better this bigger torso, the tanner uh, skin tone just looks so much better uh, than the original version. Uh, I would have loved to have this screaming scan on here, but like I said, it will not fit on that neck peg, but you can get a close-up look. Look at that torso. It just looks so much nicer. The, the bigger arms. This figure was just such a disappointment. It looked so clean when it was the first announced, but once you got in hand and that big shoulder joint really made it hard to articulate. So I do have the ultimate kind of mashup one I did, so you will see he does have the original tights on here but if you guys wanted to get you know uh, different variations of you know the torsos that Mattel's used for Hogan we have the ultimate we have the new one that they're using on the elites with a tanner skin tone and of course this ugly skinny Seamus torso so definitely have your options I definitely prefer the tanner uh, uh, skin tone versus the original Here's one of my favorites. Very simple, very easy fix up to do. Uh, so WrestleMania 18, Rock Hogan is my favorite match of all time. Uh, and I've done this fix up before with the prior Ultimate. So it only made sense to do it now with the greatest hits Hollywood. To me, this is the greatest figure that Mattel has ever made. I know that's debatable, but that's my opinion because I just love Hollywood Hogan. So very simple. Here is the original version. If you guys did have the WrestleMania 18 Elite. Hulk, uh, I just swapped out the accessories. You can see the same bandana, same boa, glasses. Uh, if you guys want to remove all that fun deco hits over here, and just look underneath. So remember, this Elite did come with the rubber shirt. I'm just using the Ultimate Hollywood Hogan uh, shirt that came with the figure. The uh, weight belts were swapped out, and we just swapped out the boots, so nothing too major here. I did add the knee pad, or the, excuse me, the knee brace on here to kind of plus it up. So I've done this fix up now so many freaking times. I actually do have the original version here. Um, if you guys want to remove the boa and stuff, you can get a better look. Uh, we've done this fix up so many times. So I do have the original ultimate here on the left. I have the new ultimate fix up and the elite. You can see the height difference, obviously, but uh, lots of fun, quick part swaps. Really, all you do is swap out the boots. The hands, I believe, are from the new Target 3 pack. Uh, the Hulk Still Rules figure had the same skin tone to match it. So uh, if you didn't want to go with the gloved hands, which obviously it makes more sense to go with this to kind of really complete your WrestleMania 18. That is the only other figure you would need some extra hands. But of course, he comes with three sets of hands there, so you can pick and choose. So uh, in a nutshell, this is really just a boot swap and just some different accessories to really put it over the top. And it just came out so nice and clean. Again, this is my favorite match, so I'm definitely going to be putting together a few more of these uh, customs. And just like we did prior with the Wolfpack Hollywood fix-up, here are the different uh, WrestleMania 18 fix-ups without their uh, accessories on. So you can see how the torso, different kind of size and shape and color uh, with the skin tone looks. So you have the original Ultimate Series 7 torso here without the butterfly joints and the without the tan. You have the WrestleMania Elite with a skinny torso. I will say at least the shoulder joints on this one allow you to articulate it versus the Wolfpack one. Uh, and the winner for me, without a doubt, is the new uh, Greatest Hits Ultimate Hollywood. Hogan. This Hollywood Hogan figure here is based more on his later run. I don't know if it was quite 98, but at one point he kind of stopped wearing the uh, airbrush design on the side of his tights and they were just plain black. So the base of this figure is the Ultimate Edition Greatest It's Hollywood. I did go with an extra Wolfpack bandana. Of course, this isn't quite accurate. I believe he did have just the NWO in the white, uh, but I, I don't really like to paint a lot of my stuff. I like to keep it as stock as possible. The shirt here is from the Storm Collectibles. You got the, uh, the Hollywood Hogan tribal shirt here does have these slits here on the back for the flap shirt it does look 
a little big, but I feel like it was kind of baggy for the time. I threw on, of course, the NWO title to complete it. Uh, the gloves I did swap out, so he does have the kind of biker gloves that came with the Hulkamania 40th Anniversary 3-pack. Uh, glasses, again, from that same figure, but let's remove the accessories. You can get a better look. So, kept the same weight belt, but I did remove all the logos here on the side, so they are just plain black. The knee pads I did swap on here are from the Legends Ultimate Warrior figure. That is one of the few figures that actually has a knee pad with the uh, the white trim. Uh, with a black finish i wish we could just finally get something with a bigger knee pad i don't think this looks awful but uh, i think the wider uh, hollywood hogan knee pads looked a little better um you can see on the Wolfpack one that's kind of what i would love to see with a white trim and you can see the, this was pretty much the same um tights design where i removed the lightning bolts here and i did swap out the boots just to give them a different look so this is again the star k97 hollywood hogan boots uh from the three pack Here's one that I thought turned out perfect. I wasn't sure how this was going to look, uh, but my good buddy Steinsmer Customs actually swapped out the torso from the Monday Night Wars Elite uh, Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan figure onto the Legends 18 uh, Hulk Hogan figure to give me a tanner, more pissed off face, uh, which is going to be my standalone version of the Bash at the Beach 1996 heel turn Hogan. I did swap on these uh, wristbands that came with the uh, Amazon Ultimate Fan Takeover, um, but you can see this looks pretty awesome. It does have the Hulkster design here on the side. This was just a simple torso swap. The bandana, I believe this is from a Storm Collectible, so uh, I believe when he turned heel, he just had Hogan up here. Um, I'm sure we're gonna get it at some point, but like I said, I'm. I, this is just fun to you know kind of have them in my display a standalone piece of Mattel releases an official version uh, I'm sure that will replace this but this looks so clean and so nice uh the bigger torso if you guys want to take a look uh with the weight belt off fits on there perfectly again the uh Monday Night Wars Hollywood Hogan is really just a straight repaint of the Legends 18 and those are these two figures right here you can see we just torso swapped them and it turned out perfect uh he did have the skinnier torso on this body with the uh the tail the paler skin tone i feel like this head and the skin tone just really uh makes your perfect bash at the beach elite hollywood hogan I actually did also make an ultimate uh, kind of fix up of my uh, Bash at the Beach Hulk Hogan. So this I did a while ago. I didn't do it at this moment here, but I did want to compare just to give you an idea of different uh, fix ups. So this one does not have the Hulkster decals on the side. These legs are a lot skinnier. So what I ended up using for this, it's the uh, the Coliseum Collections uh, Hulk Hogan. You'll see he does have the red trunks. I swapped out the legs from the Elite 91 and I removed all the paint and I believe I swapped the calves out. If you can see, they are a slight different shade of red uh, with the uh, actual Hall of Fame figure and threw the boots on from this Legends 18. So those are the parts I used at the time to have the ultimate fix up, but uh, I really do like both and I hope we eventually do get an official uh, Bash at the Beach Hulk Hogan figure. And while we're at it, let's bring in the rest of the crew from Bash at the Beach. We have an elite Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, and of course, Mean Gene. I went with the pointing finger specifically for Hogan pointing to all the trash that was thrown in the ring, brothers. This last fix-up I have for you guys is actually going to be a fronter in my collection. So, shout-out to Mania Figs for doing this Ultimate Torso Swap for me. So, uh, this is the Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Hollywood Hogan Torso swapped onto the lower legs from the Hulkamania 3-pack for Starcade 97. This, to me, the Starcade 97 gear is my favorite Hollywood Hogan gear of all time. So, it was a no-brainer I was going to do it. I was a little disappointed on that uh, Hogan 3-pack that came out. It was just an elite set, but it was still a solid set. But I just love the Ultimate Edition so much. I feel like it only made sense to plus them up. Uh, so let's remove all the accessories, and you guys can get a look at what we did. And again, it's just a torso swap, but we can swap out all of these accessories and take a look at how that torso looks like on the lower leg so i do like this head sculpt a lot better uh than the kind of like browner beard that came you can see how sick that looks this again is my favorite gear of all time uh just love how this came out again this is gonna be front and center in my collection display thank you again so much to mania figs check him out on instagram hit him up for any of your custom needs because this dude is one of the best in the game uh but let's take a look so this is the Standard release here. Uh, you can see how different the head is versus the greatest hits. I, I just personally like the darker beard a lot better, but Elite versus Ultimate Conversion here. You can see the shape of the torso. And while we're at it, why not? If you're curious, uh, I did actually have him put the uh, Elite torso on the 
ultimate lower body. So if you guys really do like this look, here's another Hollywood that you can go with. Uh, but without a doubt, I absolutely love all of these figures. If you guys have enjoyed this fix up video here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're gonna try any of these or if you have any other ideas that I can do to add to my Hulk Hogan collection. And while you're at it, don't forget to turn on those notification bells. Stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews and videos on my channel. Uh, I really have enjoyed putting all these together. This is fun. Um, I'm a big Hogan guy, but not just Hogan, Hollywood Hogan. And if you guys have tuned in and stayed, uh, you know, through the end of this video, I'm sure you guys are big Hogan fans as well. So just some different ideas and different fun things you can do with your collection. Uh, I know sometimes we hit those uh, you know, moments with your collecting. Some guys may only collect specific guys. Here are some fun things you can do to kind of like expand your collection or your look of certain characters. So uh, let me know if you try these because I'm generally, you know, curious to see who, if you guys have any ideas of maybe how I could even plus these up even more. So I know for the most part, I used to do a lot of custom fix-ups early on in the Mattel line, but for the most part, we keep getting the guys we've, you know, really wanted. I remember making Hulk Hogan customs using, like, a bulldog torso. Uh, I think uh, the trunks that I was using was, like, from uh, that yellow CM Punk. I remember getting so many of those. It's crazy to think because that figure is worth so much more now in value. But I was buying those figures, even the Texas Tornado lower body to, to make Hulk Hogan custom figures. It's crazy how far we've come to Mattel line and we don't have to do that anymore. But there are still fun custom fix-up ideas, whether it's just part swaps or, or even the torso swaps. Again, thank you to Mania Figs and Steinsenberg Customs for helping me out. Like I said, I cannot torso swap any, so I don't want to take credit for it. But uh, I do really appreciate them helping me out and, and really executing the ideas. I think these all turned out great. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex West Collects. We'll have a ton more pictures and different content using these guys. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you all on the next one.